guys, uh, I'm Matt here of uh, BCTV. Thanks for tuning in. I'm here with Tracy and Brad. How you doing? Nice to meet you guys. Beautiful spot you guys have here. What do you call it? I can see the sign. You guys can't see the sign in the video. I promise we'll take pictures. Huga. Huga. Yes. Um, not to be confused with Higgy or Higgy. There's actually it's pronounced as Huga. Huga. Why? Yeah. Why do we pick <laughs> Huga as the name? It's a really cool name actually, and. Um, the meaning behind it is, yeah. is, is beautiful, but please tell me. <laughs> so it's a Danish word that stands for, if you want to do it loosely, one word, it means cozy, but it's way more than that. I chose it because I was trying to figure out a name for the shop that displayed exactly the vibe of the shop and the, and the ambiance of the shop. And I was like, okay, comfort cat, you know, that's weird. Cozy, no. And then I was like, wait, we've been obsessed with Scandinavian culture for over a decade now we found it and it helped me adapt i'm from florida this is part of the reason why i named it i'm from florida originally moved up to fort kent maine and um it, i had a hard time adjusting to the darkness and isolation and then i discovered this and the name and it means like cozy but it's intentional coziness where you find the good in any situation that you're in so it's like if you're a nasty winter day outside, it's really cold and dark and gross and wet. You build a fireplace, get with your friends, play a game, drink a nice warm cup of milk, cup of blanket or coffee, and that's you good. Wow, so it's like yeah. a state of being. Yes. But like yes. A, a, it's a, I like the vibe. Yeah. It's a good vibe. Oh yeah, it's 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 a it's a whole culture too. Like yeah. we, we actually have a book that actually one of our customers gave us. It's like yeah. a book all on Huga. <laughs> yeah, and cool. when you read it, you can't help but feel like comfort. Like yeah. it's just, yeah. that's what it means. The fact that your customer gave you a book is a testament to <laughs> how homey and real and genuine uh, the environment you created here is. So thank yeah. you for, for sharing that with us. One basic, um, not basic, one um, backstory to the reason why we pick the drinks and recipes and flavors that we pick is to bring you back to those best times and this most comforting time. So like apparently the drink that we will never be able to get off our menu, the banana bread latte, it tastes just like banana so bread. Good. And it can bring people back to that time in their grandma's house when grandma made banana bread in January. Take me back. Yeah. So that's the that's the that's the intention behind all the drinks that the specialty drinks we create. Well I know what I'm ordering before I leave. <laughs> um, and I can say I've lived in Seattle, uh, San Diego, Dubai, all places where they have high quality coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The stuff that I had here on par with any of the best coffee I've had anywhere. That's so awesome. like Thank delicious. Like yeah. yeah. very well done. So you're Sweet. obviously are passionate and love what you do. Um, and I'm happy for you and for the community, you know, to share that with you guys. So yeah. Thank you uh, from myself, from BCTV. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys sometime soon. If you'd like to be featured on Street Smarts, give us a call, send us an email, or simply DM us on our social media, Instagram, Facebook. Look for me on the street.